Welcome to another episode of the SNR Show. Trying to get these videos out the way. Got this Naruto review to do. Got like five video game relaunch to do. Trying to do like five video game videos. But I'm going to post those out throughout the week. Then I got to do like five more video game videos to bar. It's, it's just I try to catch up and make sure I cover everything I want to cover because I've been on the railer. I've been sick as hell. I still got a cold and um, I had like a bad goddamn toothache. Would turn to a fucking endo drama fest that led from here to here. Man, I was in pain, but I still try to make it work. I was still trying to do YouTube videos, but I couldn't do as many as I usually do. But anyway, with that said, back to not nah, well shit, Naruto. There ain't really much to be said, but what well, must be said, but to say that Mordor was an utterly a badass. I mean, he was so badass, it didn't make sense. A human being getting bitch met by all these tail beasts like that? He should have been in pieces. Some bitch splatted, just destroyed a big bloody smear on the goddamn ground. But the thing is, he managed to survive all of that. He managed to even do a Sasana O out even having eyes. Shit was astounding. Could, could I say that he is on power or could I say he just badass? It was so much crescents that I could drone at this. It was just ridiculous. Like, what can I possibly say about Madara right now? I mean, what can I say that we don't already know about this guy? But then again, I was intrigued just to see this in animation. I obviously read and reviewed every manga, well, not every manga chapter, but like a good six year when I saw the ending. But to see this animated to this to this point was totally amazing. I mean, old fan grilling all over the place. Madara just looked at him and said limbo and blew him away. But I hit former R body pussy Simra Tensei or something. I mean just blew him away like they were just rad dogs. That's just lucky about to pull everybody extract them from the host and just catch them inside uh, the Gerudo staff. So but the thing that got me that just completely destroyed me about this whole thing is a lot of this could have been avoided. Kakashi and Minato just went over there and just killed Obito. What's the point of keeping him alive? Just kill him. If you kill Obito, he wouldn't be able to make that summoning. If you curse his eye, Madara wouldn't be able to gain his full power. Speaking of eye, how can you just put eyes in your head? There are veins that connect that damn thing to your brain. And when you see that happening in actual anime form, you want to crash in it, but then you realize that it's a fictional plane. But the thing is, you still want to crash it so bad, but you realize that it's just fishing. That's all it is. But still, you try to take logic and use this with it. You be like, this shit don't make sense. How did he do it? But apparently, uh, Kukaku, Senkaku, whatever the damn uh, Sam uh, Squirrel name is, he thought about this old deity back in the day that he was well, his Kiriki and he realized that not all humans are the same. Some humans like see the tail beast and humans as astral equal and he actually he actually come by, he actually gave the deity some like basically a, like well shit he praised him basically that's the word I'm looking for he praised him he gave him a compliment and he compared him to the same as his pal and now he see Gora trying to save him I guess they did not realize that Medora came alive the whole time that would explain Gora trying to seal him but he was alive. So yeah. So that just I don't think they explained that in the manga, so good thing they screw that up. But anyway, tell you guys thank make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe and make sure you guys check out Mizuki Drama Ready One, the ebook at three dollars and three cents. You can find it in the description below. And have a good one. Peace out.